Dave from DNA Reptilia here. If you haven't noticed, this video is in 4K. Reason being, it's after this clutch pull is the reason why it's in 4K. And it actually is related to this clutch pull. So, let's go. All right, since Abby's at work, I have to do this clutch pull solo. Now I get the camera on the tripod, that helps at least. Like I said, this is shot in 4K. It's not because of this clutch pull, it's actually clutch reveal. Uh, clutch that we cut already. Um, they should be fully shed by now. Um, but here's a small hint. Two of the snakes came out on time, you know, cut them at 58 days because I wasn't getting any responses, you know, from the eggs. I was grabbing them at 55, 56, 57. 58, I started feeling a little bit of response from snakes. So I cut them all. When I saw Twitchy, so I had a fear that it was actually going to be deformed. Well, a couple days ago, it finally showed me its head. It looks fully functional. I'm like, sweet. Today, it actually came out of the egg. So, I am filming this ahead, bef ahead of their full shed before they shed out. Um, so, because this happened before that happened, and this video is actually going to be up on YouTube after all of it has happened. So, I'm just going to film this half now, which is a clutch pull, again, which is related to the clutch reveal that I have yet to do because they have the same father. Father is this orange green pinstripe male that we have. This is his third clutch now that I'm pulling that he has fathered. And my thoughts are, I don't know if you can verify it. Uh, I do have light on him right now, but is he a Super OD pinstripe? That is my riddle. Because every egg that has come from him so far has been Orange Dream. Alright. <clears throat> this is the male Lemon Blast. No, OD Lemon Blast. Head genetic stripe that I held back. That's going to go back to his mom this coming season. You know, he's quite healthy. I know he could be bigger. I do a three-week feed, one week off. So they don't get fat fast. They just grow. So, the clutch I'm pulling today is actually the OD pin possible super OD pin was paired to our Raven Bumblebee. Now I'm actually hoping he is not super OD, but in a way I am hoping he is super OD. Here's the reason why I'm hoping he's not super OD, but in a way I kind of want to see it happen anyways, is because of one girl that we have that was just undersized the beginning of the breeding season, but is up to size now. This is our Raven Pinstripe, what we call Cupcake. She's extremely dark, and I'm actually hoping to produce some of these with the OD pin with the Raven Bumblebee. Now, if I make something like this, but very orange on the bottom, that won't be a bad idea neither, but as you can see, she's actually, she's dark. She's dark. Okay, enough rambling on. Let's get into an egg pulling, shall we? Ugh. I have no idea if I just recorded that. Um, shoot. <laughs> 
I just got done candling her eggs. This one, the veins are a little on the weaker side. I put a question mark on it. Um, all the eggs were a little on the cool side. Um, they were not laid last night. Well, they could have been after I checked. I checked once a day on the girls that I'm expecting. Five o'clock, there was no eggs. Five o'clock when I get home today, there's eggs. She had this one wrapped. The rest of them were all kicked out. That's the second year in a row now that she's been kicking out eggs. None of them were stuck together. None of them were stuck to the tubs. So I don't know if some females have, do that all the time, but we don't know. But this is the third clutch for Orange Dream uh, pinstripe. And I'm hoping if all these come out orange, I think that will be 6, 12, 3... 15 eggs under his belt that would be all orange if these are all orange um, when they hatch if they're all orange dreams so that would om I would almost think that our orange dream male is a super orange dream then if that kind of proves out um, that'd be a good thing because then I could have um, I could really mix an orange dream orange dream in with some recessives a little bit easier so I'm going to get some uh, press and seal on the top of this. I'm going to take some perlite out because uh, I put a little too much in there. Eggs are a little taller than what I thought they would. So I'll do that next and just get them down in the incubator. I mean, she does pretty good. She eats live too, no issues. All right, off to the clutch reveal. It'll be a completely different day, so <laughs> I won't be wearing work clothes, hopefully. So, next cut. All right, part two, the video with our orange green pinstripe. We just pulled his second clutch that he fathered. I actually forgot that he had a second clutch. We just got done pulling that, and his first clutch for the year, as you can see up here, in the 4K camera, they're, they shed out, and I'm ready to display them in the 4K. That's why I shot at the beginning of the video in 4K, so that the whole video could be shot in the same quality. Hopefully it looks good for you guys. Now we only have three snakes to show in here, but... Two out of three are beyond what I could think of. All right, now remember when I said that one of the eggs was twitching really bad and I thought it was gonna be a deformed ball python? Well, I was actually wrong, but this guy or girl took an extra four days to come out of the egg compared to the other two. So I'm glad I did cut on day 58 because it came out of the egg on day 62. <clears throat> Granted, it shed at about the same day as the other two, about one to two days later, which is perfectly fine. And what we have here, I do believe, is just an orange dream. Not pastel, like I originally thought. He's too dark for pastel. But it's got the nice blushing on the side bellies, along the side. It's a nice yellowing or orange effect coming up. <clears throat> so my presumption, it's got a nice little head stamp. Let's see if it would. All right, ball python number two of three. Now what I do believe that we have here for ball python number two of three is darn near exact copy of mom. Pastel calico, but I'm really seriously thinking that there's orange dream mixed in. I'm really starting to think that our orange dream 
pin male very well could be super but he's not very light to be a super see the on the belly pattern all the way down all right the last one that blew me away in the egg and I actually looked even better later on I wish you guys could have seen it in the video a little bit better but what we have here orange dream pinstripe calico almost like the last one but the only difference instead of pastel has pinstripe before it shed it was fire orange. I mean, it was crazy orange. The break up on the bottom from the calico. The part that I really like about it, you can see the outline around all the pattern. It's a lot brighter. It's crazy. Do I keep the pastel or do I keep the pinstripe? Riddles. Well, as you can see now, I have a dilemma. If they are both females, which one do I keep? Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you would keep. If they're both females, would you keep the pastel calico orange dream? Or would you keep the pinstripe calico orange dream? I have enough males with orange dream. Actually, I only have one. But I don't have any females. So, what one would you rather keep? I know I have the pastel calico as a female, so I'm I, I'm leaning towards the pinstripe calico, orange dream. Like I said, leave a comment down below which one you would uh, rather keep. And this is Dave signing off. And now I'm going to turn off all these hot lights because uh, it's a little bright in here and I'm getting warm. You guys take her easy. I'll see you next time in the next video.